with Scotland's best in big fights and we're all set for our top of the bill here now just a reminder that if you are watching on Sky Digital tonight you can play the sports quiz and access the Sky Active menu at any time simply by pressing the red button on your remote control Tony Wabey is well used to traveling fighting far from home and it's not been a problem through the Australians long career but the Commonwealth featherweight title is his way back here we await Scotland's champion Michael Pass is our MC ladies and gentlemen this is the main event of the evening would you please welcome now to the ring the champion from campus long here in Scotland Scott the real was the year for Canvas Lang's solid, tough, brave and thinking boxer Scott Harrison. Voted Young Fighter of the Year by the British Boxing Writers Club, he celebrated by wiping out strong domestic opposition in Richie Wenton, Gary Thornhill and Steve Robinson. Now to the Kelvin Hall, home of so many Scottish memories since it opened in the 30s as he picks up speed towards an assault in world class. It's lovely to see such a throwback to an old-fashioned fighter gym. Yeah, it's nice to see a fighter who wants to do it the traditional way, the old way. He hasn't played around with the tough and tapely titles. Commonwealth champion, British champion, talking about the European and looking towards the world later this year. That everything and everything has fallen into place for him. Improving with every contest, but this could be a real tough one for him tonight. Let's have a look at the tail of the tape against the Australian from Sydney, Tony Weeby, who is six years older than Harrison. Bags more experience. He's much taller as well. They were both inside the nine stone limit. Weeby needed two attempts at that, and he's got the reach as well. You see, he debuted in 91, Weeby. Harrison six years ago. He's had more fights, more rounds box, and that's a, a crucial stat. 60% knockout, eight inside the first round. Tony Weeby. Got to be careful early, Scott. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening once more from the magnificent Kelvin Hall here in the city of Glasgow, Scotland. Tonight, Frank Warren Sports Network, in association with our main sponsors, Red Square Verve and Glasgow City Council, proudly present 12 three-minute rounds for the featherweight championship of the Commonwealth. We'd like to welcome our viewers watching live and exclusively on Sky Sports. The officials have been appointed by the Commonwealth Council in association with the British Boxing Board of Control. Stood in charge is Mr. Fred Kennedy. Timekeeper at the bell from Glasgow is Mr. Ricky Gilmore. Finally, when the action commences, our referee is one of Britain's finest star referee, Mr. Ian John Lewis of Gillingham, England. And now, introducing the boxers, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the white colored shorts with a black trim. At the weighing, he scaled 8 stone, 13 pounds, and 14 ounces. From 38 contests, he has 30 wins. 23 of those wins coming by a way of knockout, 7 defeats, and 1 draw. He is a three-time Australian champion. He is the challenger from Sydney, Australia. Please welcome to Glasgow, Tony Weeby. And opposing him, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the solid black shorts with the yellow trim. At the weighing, he scaled eight stone, 13 and one quarter pounds. He has an outstanding record, 17 contests, 15 wins. Seven of those wins coming by way of knockout with only the one solitary defeat and one draw. Tonight, he comes to the ring as the proud, current and reigning featherweight champion of Great Britain and the Commonwealth. Tonight, making the fifth defense of his Commonwealth Championship from Campus Lang, Scotland, the champion, Scott, the real Harrison. A hero's welcome for Scott Harrison. 
The referee, Mr. Ian John Lewis, will now give his final instructions to both boxers. This is 12 three-minute rounds for the Featherweight Championship of the Commonwealth. Boxers? Boxers? I am the referee. I spoke to you both in the dressing rooms. I obey my command at all times. You both know the rules. Watch them heads, kick them punches up. When I shout break, you break clean. And remember, defend yourself at all times. Shake hands. Fifth defence of the Commonwealth Nine Stone Crown for Scott Harrison. The title he won two years ago on Burns Night. Incredibly then, his first hometown performance. He returned up here for defence number four, picking apart Steve Robinson emphatically. Now back again in front of a growing band of Harrison followers who adore his grit and see a new Scottish hero. But he's got to be careful against the big punching Australian Tony Wiebe, who is bound to go for Harrison early. Yeah, well, he's giving away height and weight to a puncher, and that's not something you want to do. He's going to have to keep that chin down. This fellow already, he looks awkward. He throws solid punches from awkward angles. He's aggressive. He's looking for a first-round knockout here. So Scott wants to be a little bit careful. It might take him a round or two to get some rhythm against this type of opponent, but don't take any chances. Seems so much bigger, Weeby. Almost looks a weight division above Harrison, who looked fairly tight on the scales last night to Scott. But it was Weeby who needed to make two trips, having sweated off a few ounces. Harrison just wants to go about his work steadily, as always. Well, I think the sooner he can get this fellow onto his back foot, the better. If a fellow has power, then you don't want him coming forward with that power. You want him backing up with it. Weeby, who was once ranked amongst the top ten featherweights in the world, but suffered a first-round defeat recently. And he said that he had a sort of mini nervous breakdown in the ring that night, one that he wanted to block away from the memory but he could just be getting fragile nearing the age of 31. Harrison at 24, the young up-and-coming featherweight who's thought of so highly in the British Isles. Well, already, he looks awkward. He doesn't look, he's clever in the slightest. I think his strength and power are just going to be the, the big problems in the early rounds. So careful boxing in the early rounds. Get him on his back foot as soon as you can. I don't think it'll be too long before Harris can solve this fellow out, but he does look dangerous. Gangly and wild, doesn't he, Weeby? Harrison already trying to get the jab working to some effect. And shouldn't find this Australian too hard to hit once he gets his rhythm going. Good body shot from Harrison. See, we'd be, uh, we'd be putting full power into the punches. So, I mean, you can't expect him to be doing that for 12 rounds. I don't know if he's going to slow down, but it, it doesn't look like it. It looks like he's going to keep coming at Harrison and try and blast him out of there. Certainly trying to make it nine first-round wins, Weeby. That's obviously the game plan, but it hasn't worked. And Harrison has got through safe and sound. We're back to the Kelvin Hall and Scott Harrison's corner, Father Peter there with him. And uh, tricky beginning. Yeah, well, uh, smart stuff from Harrison. I mean, he, he must have felt the, the power in his fellow's punches on his arms right at the start of the round. So he just kept his chin down, just waiting for his opportunities and took them when they, when they arrived. But fairly even first round. Round two, British and Commonwealth featherweight champion Scott Harrison defending the Commonwealth title for the fifth time against Tony Wiebe from Sydney in Australia in the white trunks. And that's a good right hand from Harrison at the beginning of the second. Looks wide open to me, Wiebe. He telegraphs the right hand as well. I don't see him uh, finding Harrison's chin with that, uh, sending a telegram first. Strong and awkward, I think that's been the problems in the early rounds here. Harrison always been sensible and methodical, thinking about what he does. Slight criticism, maybe a little one-dimensional, but he's improving with every fight. 
looked so good against Steve Robinson last time and he's starting to get through to Weeby here good jabs strong solid look about Harrison doesn't take any chances yeah good controlled boxing he has the perfect style for championship distance doesn't waste any moves doesn't waste any punches always in the best of condition of course he had that experience of going to Madison Square Garden and fighting Tracy Harris Patterson on the Lennox Lewis Michael Grant undercard also fought on the Lewis both are undercard when Tom Boom Boom Johnson went the distance with him invaluable and now Weeby dropping his hands and retreating worrying sign from the Australian see I don't really think Weeby has mastered the basics Adam he's all over the place and Harris is beginning to pick him off here looks very rugged Tony Weeby arms everywhere just looking for the one punch bomb and Harrison too clever for that's a great body shot and Weeby felt that right hand from Harrison here John Lucas Lewis already having a look because Weeby is not shipping these punches no defense whatsoever as I say Adam he hasn't even mastered the basics he's strong he's powerful he's certainly brave but uh, making so many mistakes and they're against a complete little fighting machine he's had 38 fights to Harrison's 17 but you're looking at a well-rounded boxer against well someone who's looking for a hidden hope the amateur class and the cut now on the left eye of Tony Weeby to hamper him further well it's great pedigree being shown by Scott Harrison very very impressive and there's the cut eye Terry Lewis Willie Connolly in the corner working on it but um, danger signs for Weeby here yeah his defense is completely deserted him I mean with his experience when you get caught like a shot like that the first thing you do is tighten up get the chin down get the hands up but he didn't do that still trying to launch counter attacks and really his balance is poor his techniques poor as I said earlier his awkwardness and his strength and his power definitely a problem for Harrison but he seems to be solving them already this probably where the cut arrived Adam see there have been no clashes of heads although some of the actions are untidy so there we go Accurate punching from Harrison. Quite possible that little exchange is where the cut is going. Two beautiful jabs. Well, Tony Weeby's travelled all around the world. South Africa, Indonesia, Thailand, Japan. But he's having a different experience here in Scotland. And Harrison is picking his punches quite superbly. It's a storm from Weeby but it seems to be the only thing he can do and once Harrison gets in that rhythm there's little stopping him great right hand flush on the chin and another one defense non-existent from Tony Weeby and Harrison hitting him at will he beckons him in that could be a big mistake huge left hook from Harrison Almost landing at will, Scott Harrison. Got to be careful of the one sucker punch that Weeby's looking for. But he's too clever for that. Well, Weeby's just trying to show how macho he is and he's not troubled by Harrison's punching. But look at the mess his face is in. We're all in the third round here. Look at the mess of his face. Now the eye looks bad now. Bleeding again. Harrison only seven inside the distance stoppages. But this could be number eight. Here John Lewis having a look. And he had to throw something back there, Weeby, which he did. <laughs> Got to get off the ropes, Tony Weeby. Look at that left hand again, Jim. This is X 
trying to stop from the Harris and just keeping his composure, keeping his cool. I think he wants it off for maybe if a look at the cut. He's going to have a look at the eye. And John Lewis doesn't think it's going to go on. It's going to be a third round stoppage, I believe. It's over. Scott Harrison wins in sensational style. The same round it took him to beat Steve Robinson. He's done it to the Australian Tony Weeby. And I think world class is next. They're looking at Julio Pablo Chacon, the WBO champion. And Jim, is he ready? Yeah, I would say so, yeah, definitely ready, definitely one class. Sometimes a tie victory we say is inconclusive, but that's not the case here. I think in the three rounds, we saw who the better man was, who, who the, how the outcome was going to go. Weeby was brave, determined, powerful, but he wasn't in the same class as this young fellow here. Everything going so well, this is the time now to move into world level. While his confidence is there, he's really serious about the game, this is the perfect time for him to go for major honours now. Well, he covered up in the first round and then he just went to work and teed off at Weeby at will. Yeah, just so compact. He knew the big fellow through wide punches, wide powerful punches, just kept his chin down, just worked away steadily, just punching the resistance out of him. I know the end came because of the cut, but we could see at that stage where the accurate boxing and the accurate punching was coming from. Lovely performance from Harrison. No mistakes, did the job perfectly. Just kept his cool didn't have to raise the pace, just steady flow of punches. Not too many got through cleanly in that little exchange, but enough did to, to cause the, the damage we're looking at in Weeby's face. Stopped because of the cut eye, but the result was inevitable, and it probably would have been stopped at the end of the round. I mean, he was taking far too much. Yep. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the referee had no choice. If it was a competitive fight and he was giving as good as he got, then you could maybe say, right, let, let's go a little bit further. But all the good punching, punches were coming his way, and look at the state of that eye. Huge smiles on the faces of Frank Maloney and Frank Warren in the ring. They believe they may have the best featherweight in Britain. Nassim Hammond would argue, Wayne McCulloch would argue, Michael Brody would argue, but he is ready to be stepped up. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute and 49 seconds of round number three, referee Ian John Lewis has stopped the contest due to Weeby having suffered a severe cut over the left eye. The winner and still the featherweight champion of the Commonwealth from Cambuslang in Scotland, Scott, the real Harrison.